G'day. This is a quick video on how to clone a AWS uh, code commit re Git repository, as well as if you've got an existing uh, Git folder that you've been working on, maybe website files you've just started, and you've created a repository within AWS code commit. This is how to send all your files up to AWS for the first time. So in this case, I've got an existing repository uh, for the code. I'm going to clone the URL. And here I'm going to do git uh, clone and then URL. This is now going to connect to AWS and download a complete snapshot. Do a git status. We see, oh, after I go in there, you can see there's my files and there's the repository up to date and we're on branch main. The other alternative, let's say that I'm working within a particular folder. Um, I've created a whole bunch of files in there. I've been editing and so forth. And now it's time to actually push it up. So first I'm going to initialize the repository locally. Um, and maybe I've even done git commits and so forth. I'm, you know, I have something ready to push and, and save. So in this case, I'm going to git uh, remote add origin and the URL. So it's the same as the clone URL in AWS. And then I do a git pull. So it's going to now synchronize and pull things down. It's going to pull the branches down. Now if I do ls, you'll notice that there's no files, even though I have added the origin in there. The key is we're on branch main uh, within the AWS code commit, and the branch here by default is, well I've set it to be mainline. Um, it could be master, it could be something else um, on that. So I need to check out the branch that's out there. I should be up to date, and there's my files. So it's two ways of connecting with AWS code commit and having a private repository. This is um, similar probably to GitHub, but at least in this one, your files are completely your own. And if you're using this for pushing your files out to websites and so forth, then obviously you want to make this quite private.